Julius, you know about lights. Well, I know that Roscoe are doing a pretty good job repositioning themselves to get away from the shrinking colour gel market. And they've developed this trio of precision gobo rotators. Yeah. Uh, now, there's, the range has three different models, and it starts with this one, which is called the Simple Spin. And um, these are designed to fit into things like Altman Shakespeare's, Silicon Pacific's, um, there's a range of fixtures that they're compatible with. It's fairly standard uh, sort of insert into the gobo gate and they've got this little friction lock device. Mm. So you slide that down and it pushes a little lump forward here and that locks it into the gate. Um, obviously there's also a point there to which you could attach a safety wire. Mm. So this, the simple units are mains powered, yeah, yeah. non-DMX controllable. It's very, it's, it is, as it says on the label, a very simple spinner. You can adjust the speed with a knob, little potentiometer there. You can change direction, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, or you can flip it into this mode called dimmer. Now, right now it's running full full speed yep. because we're just feeding it straight 240, but we could uh, plug this into a dimmer yeah. now and then adjust the voltage that comes into it, which would then adjust the speed at which it spins. You could plug it into the same dimmer as the lights. As the light got dimmer, the effect gets slower. You could, you could. Not, um, not you can also it, disable the LED, which yeah. is really nice. Very so handy. Roscoe clearly maintain their theatre sort of heritage there. All right. So that's a simple spin, right? Okay. Here um, we have the Revo dual indexer. Yeah. Okay. Now this DMX. is where this is where it gets interesting, right? This one um, doesn't actually have a 240 volt input. It's just got a four pin connector. Yep. Now on that four pin is carried power. 24 volts from a separate power supply. Oh, I see. And okay. DMX. Yeah. Um, but the nice thing is that once you've fed one of those devices, you can just link up a couple using mm. just standard four pin yep. cables. Same power supply. Yeah. Now, if you'd like to, to hold this one up, this mm. one actually is a little bit different. And I've got to just wibble some things here to actually make it run. Okay. Now, All you right. can see. Yeah, we, we've actually moment, got dual. We've got one gobo in there. We've got one gobo in, but the fact is, it's actually, it's a dual rotator. So this ring is spinning clockwise, and we turn it around. This one is also spinning clockwise, but one's counterclockwise yeah. relative to the other. Now, the nice thing about this, would you like to hold that again for me? You, you have a rain effect and things like that. You can, you can do, you can do dual layered gobos so you can have you know a decroic color mm. like we've got in this third one here yep. and you can layer that with a breakup or whatever kind of effect you want um, but the really cool bit about this one is it can index so if you right. hold this yep you can see i'm gonna i'm gonna set it i'm just gonna dial through a different position and you can re-index and it just goes there mm. and you can either do that quickly or you can set it to do it very slowly. Yes. And obviously the slower it is, the quieter it gets. Now, even running full tilt, these are not that noisy. It's no, a bit noisy in here because we've got them sitting on the bench. It's but quiet. That's yeah, about as much visible. noise as you get out of it when it's running at full tilt. Well, you've got it held right up against your DPA. I, I do touch. have it held right up against my mic, exactly. So when they're not sitting on a wooden surface, mm. when they're up in a lighting rig, you'd never hear these. Okay, so the Rev Pro is a little bit different. This one has some additional modes which allow us to do standalone operation. Again, we've got um, more than just uh, an LED disable option on these. We've got dimmers, so we can have very dim LEDs so we can still see what's going on. Um, there's a variety of different control modes for these things. You can run them off simple, like two channel DMX. Um, you can do everything up to six channels. I'm doing it in four channel mode, and that gives me two channels to control the speed and direction mm -hmm. of the rings um, of each holder. So sorry, one channel per holder. Yep. Um, and then there's a second uh, channel, so channels three and four relate to indexing position. Mm. So if I set uh, my channel four, which is the layer I've got this gobo into, to zero, that's now just going to go on continuous rotate. But as soon as I give that a set value, it'll stop. So we can, we can very easily choose a particular point. And the really cool thing is that when it actually boots up, I'm going to just pull the power off this and fire it up. You can see it actually says in the little display, boot. And what it's doing at the moment is it's going through and figuring out exactly what position each of the holders is in so it knows 
how to index. It's very nice, very accurate, yeah. um, and there's, uh, of course, some fine variations for adjustment. Mm. So feels good, looks great. There you go. Yeah, Roscoe. that's that's the Roscoe indexes. Cheers. Really cool. Cheers. Awesome.